Hey everybody, it's the Beekeeper, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the skew. Um, <coughs> I'm a very beginner at skew. I can't solve it very fast, and so this is going to be a beginner tutorial on how to solve it. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, let's give it a mix-up. Okay. So I kind of thought up my own way of doing this because other tutorials that I've watched aren't, you know, like since I'm a beginner, I looked at tutorials to see how to do it, and they weren't as good as they could be, and so I'm going to try to cover something that I know a beginner will want to know. Um, <clears throat> so these are centers here, and these are the corners. And it's very simple. It might be kind of weird at first if you just got this puzzle. Um, just might be kind of weird getting used to the turning, um, but basically how it works is, um, when there's, okay, so say you want to turn these three faces, all those faces go around this corner, so if you just hold on to it, a corner and do this, it'll turn these three corners and these three centers, okay? <coughs> um, so... How I like to start is I pick a face that I want to start off with. I normally start with green, and then I get all of the all of its corners in place. But when you do that, you can't just have green on top um, because you have to make sure that you have like we're gonna call them headlights all the way around here. Um, so we already have one place. We already have one right here, and so we're going to go off of that to get the other ones. Um, so we have one right here. It's actually in the right spot, but it's not turned correctly. So what we have to do is take it out. That can be done by turning all the faces around this corner, turning it like that, and that moves it down to here. And then what we have to do is turn it, turn everything around this corner until the green is facing you right here. Because then you see when you turn it up like this, it goes in place, and then we have a pair of headlights. Um, so then again, we have another one here, and um, it's this one is in the right spot too, but we have to turn it. So we bring it down, turn it, and bring it back up. And then this one's in the right spot, and here where here's where it gets tricky with the last one if it's not already in place, which it normally isn't. Um, you have to make sure that when you bring it down, you can turn it without messing up this corner right here. And so if we were over here with it, it's right beneath it and it's facing down. What you want with the last corner, you do not want it facing down. So you want to turn it back over to this side where it's facing out instead of down. And then that means that when you turn it like this, and turn it up, you can turn this corner back up and it will fix everything. So, um, see if it's over here and you try to turn it and bring it up. See, this corner is over here now, the one that had to be here. And so when you do this, you mess up this one. And so then it just doesn't work. So you want to have it facing out. And then you can just put it in. Okay, so now we have the first layer done. Now you want to flip over the cube, and now we have to finish off the other corners. We have to get all the other corners so that all these, say on this side, all these corners are white, and on this side, all these corners are orange. And so you see this one, it has orange on it, and that's correct. This one's correct, this one's correct, and this one's correct. And so these two are not correct, and these two are not correct. And <coughs> there's an algorithm to uh, turn um, two opposite corners. Okay? So when we do algorithms, we're, go we're always going to have a corner facing us. So like this. It's not going to be like this. It's going to be like this. And so, um, so the algorithm that we do needs us to have the two bad corners uh, facing you and facing away from you. 
like this. Now, when we say right and left, um, we're going to be turning the faces around these two corners. So, left inverted would be like this, and right would be like this. And there won't be any downs or anything. Um, it'll only be uh, left, right, and like a U move. And when you do the U move, it's just around the corner that's facing you. So, like, that's U, that's U prime. And so, these two are good, so these two are the bad corners. And so the algorithm is left inverted, right, left, right inverted, front, right, left inverted, right inverted, left, front inverted. Now, it didn't turn it to where we want it, so we have to do it again. Left inverted, right, left, right inverted, front, right, left inverted, right inverted, left, front inverted. And it gets to be very natural. You just do this two times, and then you turn the front, and then you do the opposite of that, and you turn the front back. So it's very simple. And so... Um, now, what we have to do, since we have all these corners, it's all solved except for the centers. What we have to do now is find a center that will slide down into its four corners. So this one will go down here, okay? And so, um, what would be really nice is if you could get three that could cycle around all... Okay, so this, this algorithm is a three cycle, and so it's, what it's going to do is move this one from here, this one down to here, this one to here, and this one up here. So, um, if we can't find three that will cycle perfectly, then we just find one that will go down. And so, uh, we'll use this blue one, and when you do this algorithm, uh, you want to hold it so that the three corners are facing the left, like this. And this algorithm goes left inverted, right, left, right inverted, times two. So it's like the other one, only you do it two times. You do it again. And then you do left. Now this is kind of like a bottom left move. It's not like left like this. It's like a bottom left move. Then you keep, and then you do the opposite. You do right, left inverted, right inverted, left, times two. And then you finish off with a left inverted, like a bottom left inverted. So now we have this blue in place. And now it's just these three, no, these four that we have to cycle. Um, so in this case, when we get kind of uh, a checker pattern, I guess, type thingy, um, we have to do is move this right like that so that we have three that can cycle and at the end you have to you have to make sure you undo that move that we did so this is like a setup <coughs> and so then we do that same sequence of algorithms that we did before left inverted right left right inverted times two so you do it again and then you do a bottom L move and then you do right left inverted right inverted left and then you do an L inverted. And then you have to undo the move that you did at the start. So you do that. And now you see we just have these three left to do. So we see that this one can move down to here. But if we do that, it'll mess up this one. So we have to turn. See, the last one's right here. So we have to turn that up. So it's like this. And these can all cycle. So we do the same thing. Bottom L move. L inverted. And then you undo the setup move that we did at the start. And see, now it's solved. Now, if you get something... Like this... No, wait a minute. That was wrong. 
That didn't work. I see. <laughs> So if you get something like this, where this one won't won't just move down to here, like that, then you can either do this two times, do the algorithm before two times, or you can, um, instead of holding it like this, you hold it like this, and you do the opposite of the other algorithm. So you do right, left inverted, right inverted, left, times two, and then you do R inverted, like the bottom R. And then you do left inverted, right, left, right inverted, times two, and then you do a right. And instead of doing it two times, you only had to do that algorithm once, and it got you to here. Um, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, leave a like down below, and of course subscribe, and leave comments, um, some suggestions for what other videos you want to see, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.